Welcome to lesson on 9.2, Multiplying and Dividing Rational Expressions. In this particular video, we'll be focusing just on dividing rational expressions. As before, uh, let's look for a parallel in earlier years when we just simply divided the number fractions, right? In this case, it's 4 divided by 9 divided by uh, 16 over 27. The first thing that we're going to do is to flip the second fraction and convert the division sign to multiplication because division is actually reciprocal multiplication by definition. And then before we multiply across as before, we simply look for things that we could cross cancel. And when you do that, 4 uh, goes into 4 once, and I didn't bother writing that, and 4 goes into 16 four times. 9 goes to 9 once, and 9 goes to 23, sorry, 27, three times. And then we multiply across, and that's 1 times 3 is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4. So the answer is 3 fourths, okay? We do the same exact process for the dividing rational expression. So based on dividing rational expression, uh, let's do this. The okay, first thing we do is what? We flip the second fraction. And then we need to factor whatever we can. So the numerator on the second fraction right here, uh, that could be factored as x plus 2, x minus 2. Now we look for things that are cross-canceled. That can be cross-canceled, sorry. So you notice that x plus 1 over here and x minus 2 can be cross-canceled. And then there's nothing else, so we just write the ones that are remaining, which is x plus 2 divided by x plus, sorry, x plus 2 divided by 3. Um, we're done, except we didn't bother writing down the excluded values, but we'll do that in the next example, okay? So this is a good, you know, good warm-up. So this is more realistic question that you'll be getting in this class, Algebra 2, right? So what's the first thing we do? Well, you're right, you're right. We flip the second fraction, and the first one is we copy that as it is, unless you had to factor it, but in this case it was already factored, so we didn't have to worry. In the second one, as I was flipping, I actually factored. So what is a factored form of x squared plus x minus 2? Well, that's x plus 2, x minus 1. Because it was in the denominator, I put in the numerator as we change that to the multiplication right here, guys. Okay. In the numerator, what is that? Well, x plus 2 times x plus 7. Right. Now we look for things to cross-cancel. And when you do... The x plus 2 cancels and x plus 7 cancels. Uh, in this case, there's two of them, so I just cross off, and that's 1 now, okay? So we multiply across, and in this case, you don't have to multiply across. You can just leave it like that, okay? Unless the direction says to expand it out. Uh, but for the sake of uh, that, I did, but this form is perfectly fine. And then... When you're done, generally we write excluded values, okay? And those are negative 1, sorry, negative 2, 1, 0, and 7. Um, how did I get that? Well, if you look at the denominator over here, that is x squared equal to 0, then you get a 0. And when you set, this was the denominator over here, right? And that will give you negative 2 and 1. See, negative 2 and 1 right there. But we got 7 over here. But where did that come from? The idea is that the if the numerator is equal to 0 in the second one, the entire fraction is equal to 0. But you can't see that? Dividing by 0? You can't divide by 0. So you have to include the numerator of the second expression, which will yield 7. So I said all that in words. So let me, let's go back again, slowly. So how do you find excluded values? Number one, we do, is that's one, set all denominators equal to zero. That is x squared and x squared plus x minus two. When you set those equal to zero, then you get a list of negative two, zero, and one. Okay, I sort of skipped the, uh, the work that goes here, the factor form, but it, you can see on the left-hand side, right? And the second thing you have to do is set the numerator of rational expression Following the division sign, set that equal to zero, right? So that's this one right here, x squared plus 9x plus 14. 
When you set that equal to zero, you're gonna come up with negative seven and negative two. So you put all the lists together, right? And those are the excluded values. Negative two, zero, one, seven. If any one of them happens, <clears throat> happens, this expression is non-existent. It cannot possibly exist. All right. So that's how you find the excluded values. All right. So that wraps it up. Uh, in class, we're going to do the second example, but let's save that for the class. All right, guys. Have a good night.